YouTube. We're going to have a little bit more fun today, and I'm going to tell the whole YouTube world which one is my favorite 9mm pistol. Now, I've been pretty open and honest on my videos with what I think about 9mm. I do like it, folks. I do not carry a 9mm pistol, and I'm never going to carry a 9mm pistol, and that's my opinion. I know there's a lot of other people out here that think it's the greatest thing in the world and that's what makes the world go around because everybody has different opinions. I'm personally never going to carry a 9mm pistol. I think it's inadequate and as compared to other calibers, which I've also mentioned on this channel, that perform so much better than a 9mm pistol, that is why I do not carry a 9mm pistol. However, that doesn't mean I don't like 9mm pistols, folks, and it's kind of like comparing uh, my 1992 Fox body to my 2024 Honda that I have. I have a 2024 Honda Civic. Which one do I think is a better car? Well, I definitely like the 92 Mustang Fox body. It's got a supercharger on it. It's awesome. Would I use that to daily commute if I had my choice between that and the 2024 Honda Civic? I absolutely wouldn't. The Honda's a better car all around. It's a lot more reliable. It's a lot quieter. It's got all the amenities in it. And it's, it's just a, a better car for its purpose. But do I, does that mean I don't like to go drive my Fox Body Mustang? No, I love driving that car. It's awesome. So that's how you compare it to 9mm. I don't dislike them. I'm just not going to use them as a carry pistol. I'm never going to do it. So with that being said, we're going we're to look at a little few varieties here. I got six or seven of them here in front of you. That are, they're all pretty common type pistols. And I'm going to pick them up and show you one by one what I like and what I dislike about them. And we're going to pick a favorite one here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the fan favorite. And I'm gonna show you these are unloaded as I pick them up. This is a Glock 43X, and this has been out several years now, and people love this thing. They love it as a carry gun. And the reason they like it is you get a full grip on it. It's nine millimeters, it's very slim, and it's easy to carry on your side, given the weight of it. Do I like this gun? Is this my favorite 9mm? It absolutely is. It. I do not understand the purpose of having this long grip as a concealed gun when you're putting it in a holster and it only holds 10 rounds. So does it make the cut? It absolutely does not. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to move on to something new here. We're going to pick up the Glock 17. Now, this is the very first Glock 9mm that ever came out. As a matter of fact, it's the very first Glock period that ever came out. And it's a full-size gun. It holds a bunch of 9mm. I think it holds like 17 rounds of 9mm with a regular magazine in it. It's an awesome shooting gun. It's a range gun. But is it my favorite? It is not, folks. I don't have any much bad to say about it. It's just a plain Jane, full size, nine millimeters, kind of bulky, and you couldn't carry it if you tried, unless you live in a state where you can open carry. And I know there's people that get away with carrying large frame um, guns inside the waistband and concealing. That's not me, not my favorite. Do I dislike it? I do not. Moving on here, folks. Let's move on to the next one. This is the Glock 26. This is a subcompact 9mm Glock. This has been around a very long time. And this is a double stack 10 round magazine that I rate a lot higher than I do that 43X. This one, when you put it in a holster here, as you can see, the most important part is the length of the grip when you're trying to conceal something. I live in a state, once again, where you have to conceal. So this is a more viable option if I was going to be a 9mm carrier, if I was going to join the rest of the 9mm world and carry a 9mm. A lot more viable options, same amount of rounds, same amount of reliability, a lot shorter package here, not that much thinner. Is it my favorite 9mm pistol? It is not, folks, because this is meant just for carry. I cannot get all three fingers on it, even though I can shoot this effectively. So you're gonna have a problem with the draw with me. And 
I don't carry nine millimeters, so if I was gonna just use this as a range toy, which is what I mostly do with nine millimeter, is this my favorite gun? It is not. So we're gonna throw that one to the side and we're gonna move on. This one. This is a Taurus G3C. And you've heard me rant and rave about this thing to ends because of what it cost and the reliability on it. I've recommended this gun to a lot of people that are getting into firearms and want their very first carry gun and they've decided on the 9mm because of the recoil thing, the capacity thing, whatever it is. This gun is awesome. I like it. I can get with the magazine in it, it comes with the factory extension. I can get a full grip on this thing. This thing holds 12 plus one rounds of nine millimeter. It's got this weird trigger that pulls way back on it, which is awesome for a carry gun because you don't want something with a hair trigger going off. You want to make sure you want to take that shot. So I don't have enough bad things to say. I don't have enough good things to say about this. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's very reasonably priced. It's not always what something costs, folks. The features on this gun it actually has a safety on it for people that are just getting into firearms or people that actually feel that they need a thumb safety on it. You don't have to use it. But is it my favorite 9mm? It is not, folks. I mean, there's just a lot better. I'm going to the range. There's ones with a lot better trigger on them. So, does it make the cut for me? Probably not going to carry a 9mm. So, we're going to set that one to the side. So we're gonna move next up, this one. This is an FN Reflex. Now this is gonna be a carry size, one of the new micro nine millimeters. And this one's main claim to fame is the capacity. It's very thin, it's the same width as the um, Glock 43X that I started off with, only in a flush magazine. This one holds 12 rounds. And it also comes with an extended magazine that makes it the same length as the 43X and it holds 15 rounds. So it absolutely blows the 43X out of the water. It's got an absolutely far superior trigger than any Glock that you've ever seen because this gun is hammer fired. So this one goes to the top of the list with the small carry ones, but is this my favorite nine millimeter? It is not, folks, because I don't carry 9mm. If I'm going to the range, this has got a great trigger, but it's a little small. And why would I take something this small when I can get a full-size gun to go to the range? And does it make the cut, folks? So this is not my favorite 9mm. Now, as I go down this list, I just want people to know that I like every one of these guns. I own them. And I bought them for a reason, so I don't dislike any of them. We're just trying to pick out my favorite one. So we're going to move right on down the line here. This is a Glock 19. Now, this is probably the most popular gun in the world, and that is no, no lie, folks. Everybody either has one of these or has fired one of these. And it's just a lot better fitting in my hand because I can get a full grip on it and it doesn't have that long barrel like the Glock 17 that I pointed out earlier. And this is a great gun. This one's outfitted with a red, orange, or whatever you want to call it, front sight that I can really pick up real well with my poor eyesight. So to get to the range, this thing holds 15 rounds of ammo and I think it's a great gun and it almost makes my top nine millimeter gun that i have but is it my favorite one it's close but there is one better <laughs> and what's going to bring us to our final one here folks this is a glock 19x and when this thing came out all the glock people went crazy because they made this grip grip too long and they shortened up the slide and I've made this argument many times with Glock people. They wanted to know, they wanted to shorten this grip and lengthen the slide. And I think Glock's done that now, but they were fine with the Carry 43X having a longer grip. And it makes absolutely no sense. But none of that matters to me. What matters to me is this is built like a commander size 1911. So it has a full size frame and it has a shortened slide. So it balances real well in your hand. Comes from the factory with this three dot system. They're metal sights. 
So I can pick these up really well. And they're night sights too. And that doesn't matter to me as much. But the length of this grip is awesome. And this thing holds 17 rounds with a flush magazine in it. And 19 rounds with a extended magazine that actually comes in the box with it. So this is a thing actually capable of holding 20 rounds. It has a short and slide, so it's more maneuverable. It's well better balanced than the Glock 17, in my opinion. And it's kind of like a Commander 1911. This thing shoots. I shoot this one better than any 9mm pistol on this table. And for that, for that reason and that reason alone, this is the favorite 9mm pistol that I have here in front of us. The Glock 19X. So, anyway, folks, I don't want to take up too much of your time today. I just picked a few common ones here that made the cut for me. There's nothing real special here, nothing super expensive here. I just wanted to show you which one was my favorite 9mm pistols. If you have any questions on any of these weapons, I think I pretty much have a video on every single one of them and explaining them in depth. And thank you very much for watching my video today, and you folks have a great day.